Have you ever wondered what would happen if all the ice in Greenland melted? An intriguing query to ponder, wouldn't you agree? Today we're embarking on an icy journey exploring the mysteries and potential impacts of Greenland's melting ice sheets. Greenland, known for its vast, awe-inspiring ice sheets, is currently witnessing an alarming phenomenon. These ice sheets, which have stood the test of time for millennia, are now melting at an unprecedented rate. The crisp, chilling winds that once swept across these icy plains are now laden with an ominous warmth, causing the ice to vanish before our very eyes. This isn't just about the disappearance of some distant, frosty landscapes. It's about the potential ripple effects that could be felt across our entire planet. From rising sea levels to altered weather patterns, the melting ice in Greenland could have far-reaching consequences. Let's delve into the science behind ice melting. To comprehend the potential effects, we first need to understand the science behind ice melting. The melting of ice is a natural process, one we witness every time we leave an ice cube out of the freezer. But when it comes to the massive ice sheets in Greenland, the science becomes a bit more complex. The process of ice melting begins with the absorption of heat. When sunlight hits the ice surface, some of it is reflected back into the atmosphere due to the ice's white, reflective nature. However, not all sunlight is reflected. Some of it is absorbed by the ice, causing it to warm up and eventually melt. Now you may wonder, what does global warming have to do with all this? Well, the Earth's temperature is influenced by the amount of heat that is trapped in our atmosphere. This is where greenhouse gases come into play. Greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane are like a thermal blanket for the Earth. They trap heat in the atmosphere, preventing it from escaping into space. This causes the Earth's temperature to rise, a phenomenon we know as global warming. The problem arises when human activities like burning fossil fuels release excess greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This thickens the thermal blanket, trapping even more heat and thus leading to a further rise in Earth's temperature. As Earth's temperature rises, so does the temperature of the ice in Greenland. And as we've already discussed, when ice absorbs more heat, it melts. This is the crux of why global warming is causing the ice sheets in Greenland to melt at an unprecedented rate. But it's not just the direct heat absorption that's causing the ice to melt. Global warming also leads to warmer ocean currents. These currents lap against the ice sheets, causing them to melt from beneath. Now that we understand how ice melts, let's explore the consequences. Imagine a world where coastal cities are underwater. This could be our reality if all of Greenland's ice melts. Now let's delve deeper into how this phenomenon occurs. The melting ice from Greenland's ice sheets is contributing to rising sea levels. It's not just a droplet in the ocean, but a significant factor that's accelerating the pace of sea level rise. Picture this. Greenland is host to enough ice that, if completely melted, could raise global sea levels by about 20 feet. That's right, 20 feet. It's a staggering figure, isn't it? This rise wouldn't happen overnight, of course, but it's a, a sobering thought and a stark reminder of the immense scale of the changes we're dealing with. Let's consider some of the cities that could be affected by these rising tides. Imagine Venice, the city of canals submerged underwater even more than it already is. Or New York City, the Big Apple, with its iconic skyline half-drowned. Miami, Shanghai and countless other coastal cities around the world would also face an existential threat. In addition to displacing millions of people, this rise in sea levels could also cause significant economic losses. Infrastructure would need to be rebuilt, economies would need to adjust and people would need to change their way of life. But the effects of melting ice don't stop at rising sea levels. It also affects ocean currents and temperature, which in turn affects weather patterns and ecosystems. And while we're talking about the consequences of melting ice, let's not forget about the loss of habitat for polar bears, seals and other Arctic wildlife. They depend on the ice for their survival, and its disappearance could lead to their extinction. In the face of such dire predictions, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But it's important to remember that we have the power to influence the future. By reducing greenhouse gas emissions, we can slow down the melting of Greenland's ice and mitigate some of the worst effects of rising sea levels. Rising sea levels are just one part of the story. There are other consequences too. Ever noticed how the weather seems to be getting more unpredictable? Melting ice sheets could be a contributing factor. Let's delve into this a bit more. The melting ice sheets in Greenland don't just contribute to rising sea levels. They are also a major player in altering our weather patterns. 
You see, our planet has a delicate balance. When one element shifts, it sends ripples throughout the entire system. One of the ways this happens is through something called feedback loops. Feedback loops are processes where the output of a system can serve as input to that same system. In the context of our climate, feedback loops can either amplify or reduce the effects of climate change. So how does this all tie in with our melting ice sheets? Well, consider the albedo effect. This is a measure of how much sunlight that hits a surface is reflected back into space without being absorbed. Ice being white has a high albedo, meaning it reflects a lot of solar radiation back into space. But as ice melts and more darker ocean or land is exposed, less sunlight gets reflected back. This leads to more heat being absorbed, which in turn causes more ice to melt. This is a classic example of a positive feedback loop where the result of a process speeds up that very process. Now let's talk about the impact on weather patterns. You might be wondering how do melting ice sheets in Greenland affect your local weather? Well, as the ice sheets melt, they release fresh water into the North Atlantic Ocean. This influx of fresh water could potentially disrupt the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, a major ocean current system. This system plays a crucial role in distributing heat and regulating weather patterns across the globe. If disrupted, we could see more extreme and unpredictable weather events. In essence, the melting ice sheets are not just a concern for coastal cities, they are a global issue that affects us all, from the weather we experience daily to the very climate system that sustains life on our planet. So melting ice doesn't just raise sea levels, it changes our weather too. It's not just humans who are affected by melting ice. The wildlife in these regions is also at risk. Let's dive a little deeper into the perils faced by the creatures that call the Arctic their home. The polar bear, the iconic symbol of the Arctic, is one of the most threatened. As the ice melts, their hunting grounds disappear, making it harder for them to catch their primary prey, seals. The result is a sharp decline in their population, with experts predicting that by mid-century, two-thirds of these magnificent creatures could disappear if the ice continues to melt at its current rate. But it's not just polar bears. The Arctic fox, another resident of these icy landscapes, is losing its habitat too. The melting ice is giving way to shrubs and grasses, making it difficult for these small predators to survive in what was once a frozen wilderness. The story is the same underwater. Walrus populations are also declining. They rely on ice flows as resting platforms between dives for clams and other mollusks. With fewer ice flows, they're forced to rest on land, often leading to deadly stampedes. And let's not forget the smallest members of the Arctic ecosystem, the krill. These tiny crustaceans form the base of the marine food chain. The loss of sea ice affects their ability to reproduce and survive, potentially disrupting the entire Arctic marine ecosystem. Birds too are not immune. The ivory gull, a bird that breeds exclusively in the high Arctic, has seen its numbers drop by 80% over the past 30 years. Melting ice is believed to be one of the major contributors to this decline. The melting ice is a ticking time bomb for Arctic wildlife. Each species that is affected by the melting ice sets off a chain reaction, impacting others in the food chain and the ecosystem as a whole. The effects of melting ice are far-reaching, impacting both humans and wildlife. It's a stark reminder that we're all interconnected in this vast web of life, and what happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. It affects us all, no matter where we are on this beautiful planet we call home. So. What does this all mean for us and our future? As we've explored throughout this journey, the melting ice sheets in Greenland are more than just a distant cold phenomenon. They're a pressing issue, an evolving narrative that intertwines with our lives in ways we may not always see. We've delved into the science behind the melting ice, its impact on rising sea levels and the ways it alters our weather patterns. This icy realm, home to a myriad of wildlife, is transforming, and with it, the lives of these creatures are being irrevocably changed. We've touched upon the effects on polar bears, seals, and the countless species that rely on this icy habitat for survival. But the crux of the matter is the story of Greenland's ice. is not just about the ice, the ocean, the weather, or the animals. It's about us. It's about the world we want to leave behind for future generations. The fate of Greenland's ice is in our hands. The choices we make today will determine the world we live in tomorrow.